and that tells it make leaves make leaves so what do we do to reduce that that lost bean that lost pod or the would you is tip back in the same category in corn tip back is heat stress so tip okay. back is cytokinin and cytokinin oxidase so uh we could talk about them but those are hormone things okay um i like tip back better i mean it's earlier in the season and then um the, the, what do you call it? The new trifoliates typically later, so we'll go in chronological order. Sure. You got to go back to evolution now. So the plant's growing out in some jungle or wherever it was harvested. Corn came, I still haven't found it. Corn came from Mexico, and I live near Mexico. Mm -hmm. I've been on trips in Mexico. I want to find the wild weed corn. Corn. Tio Sinte, where I was growing. I still haven't found it. Okay. Anyway, so think of this plant growing out in some hot Sonoran desert. And if, if it's too hot, the plant, think, think of your hormone. I don't know how far you want to go into hormones. Probably a whole nother talk. I should say. <laughs> yeah. Certain, plant, certain hormones promote different things. Uh, cytokinins, they promote leaves and shoots. Uh, auxins, they promote roots, strong roots, fat flowers, big stems and things like that. They're more the female where your cytokinin and your jib gibberellic acid those are more the men the males got it so and there's a balance um corn's a really cool crop because of the brace root mm -hmm. and the, so the balance where the roots and the shoots meet your cytokinin levels coming from the roots are going to match the auxin levels coming from the shoots and so when they balance each other out you get a net zero that's the soil line so depending on the environmental conditions, the plant, the corn plant in particular, you might see a brace root. That's where your cytokinins and your auxins equal zero. And it just so happens to be out of the ground. That's not necessarily a good trait, you know, to have brace roots. Right, right. So anyway, anyway. But if you think of evolution and you think of heat, what's the plant doing? So if, if I'm a plant, I'm in the middle of nowhere, I have all of these uh, signals coming in through my hormones, and if it's really hot air temperature, what's the best thing for me to do? You know, it's to keep my carbohydrates underground. Mm -hmm. So if I'm underground, it's cooler, it's moister, it's a better environment for my CHOs, my carbohydrates. So if it's too hot from heat stress, the plant will eat its own cytokinin. So that'll keep it f promoting growth underground and inhibiting growth above ground where it's really hot. So when you have pollination and when you have the ear... That's why you get shorter corn on drier years. Absolutely. Okay. It, that's shorter a cytokinin. Plants, less material. The plant has an enzyme called cytokinin oxidase. Okay. And it eats the cytokinin like a Pac-Man. Uh-huh. And that Pac-Man makes more auxin in the plant than cytokinin. And the more auxin forces more of the energy underground, and it protects the plant from heat stress. Whoa. Really cool, right? So what can we do? We spray on cytokinin a, on the plant. Okay. In right during castle. In form of kelp. So different types of cytokinin, you know, there's or different types of kelp uh, have different hormone profiles. Yes. So, um, we're, yes. So we're going to do some, we're going to do... Uh, YouTube videos on the different ones. Yes. And what basically, I mean, the full dive of which one do we use and when, and then, you know, you guys can reach out to us if you're interested in those. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and that's, so it's kind of bringing this full circle is the introduction, the education, and then, you know, let the farmer decide what he wants to do and absolutely. what direction with the information he's given. Um, yeah, so you spray kinetin on that plant mm -hmm. right at the heat timing, and you will have no tip back. Okay. Boy, that sounds great. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now um, get back into the, and both another one with the bean. Would we you pair that the, with the stress? The stress mix is going to, the cytokinin heat stress is very, very specific. Okay. So in corn, yes, mm -hmm. it would totally help to, to mix that with the stress. Okay. Now, if we're looking at general stress and losing ethylene, then that's the crop stress mix, and you don't necessarily need to pair that with cytokinin. Got it. Okay. We'll cover that more in the, in yeah. the videos. But um, Okay, so uh, 
Good. Guys, if you've liked the information that you've seen so far, go ahead and check out the full length podcast on our YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe there. It's also on all the major plat- podcast platforms. Um, we're constantly dropping info and more content on all the social media platforms, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, etc. Check it out for a lot more content.